What's going on guys? It's Jeff Freiner from Jeff.tv and the day is finally here. The Google Glass has arrived as well as the active lens kit. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. So actually a quick side up before like. we jump into the box itself. This is what they ship it in. Just kind of flies together like this pretty simply but I just want to show you that here. It says it's here and it's stuck to the box. It's a sticker. So it says to set up glass you'll need an Android phone or an iPhone. I'm going to be using it with my G2 so I have an Android phone. Download the My Glass app which I already have and then you can actually go to google.com slash glass slash c2c or you can call 1-800-GLASS-XE um, I believe and they'll actually help you over the phone to set it up so getting to the Google Glass box I'll move my camera a little bit better here so this is the box itself uh, it's a matte feel really can't show you but the box feels really cool has the explore program logo there on the side and then this is the charcoal edition, as you can see here. The box is 100% paper. Please recycle. I'm actually going to keep this box. Don't want to recycle it. Then you nice, got the nice glass logo there. On top, on the inside here, gives you the let's get started setup guide. So you have to turn it on by pressing the glass. I believe it's the glass icon logo button, I should say, on the inside of the frame. Just the nose bridge so it sits just above your field of vision and position the display so you see the whole screen. I have not seen these yet, other than on someone's head from about 50 feet away. It's the closest I've come to seeing what they're actually like, to feeling their actual weight, all that stuff. They're pretty light. Man, do they look awesome. So yeah, just as I said, there's the glass logo button right there. Uh, I don't know if it's that one or if it's this one. i got to double check that. Looks like there's a little Torx screw right there. I think that's how you would attach that to the prescription frames, which I might actually look into. I'm wearing contacts now. But I might get that prescription frame set up. Uh, there's the prism where you see everything on the screen. Of course, there's the bridge, and the frame just continues on from there. So, again, they're pretty flexible. And the box actually shows you. So, listen. All right, so the glass icon there is where you listen. The on off would be that button here. Touch would be the touchpad, which is the whole side, that whole outside of the glass. And capture. <laughs> which would be that front camera right there. I want to say this is an 8 megapixel camera, might be a 5, uh, but it actually it looks very similar to the Nexus 5 in terms of quality, which is really nice. Micro USB charger right there on the bottom. Let's go ahead and put those aside. Pull up the tab. So these are the, this is the 2.0 version of glass, which means it comes now with this pouch. It's a hard protective pouch. As you can see right here, this pouch has been crafted using Japanese microfiber made from recycled materials designed to be both light and durable. Take this with you to protect glass and its accessories. So it looks like there's actual, yep, there's a piece in here that slides out. So this, I have my hand here. So this is, it's like a steel toe boot case in a sense. This is the toe front, if you will. You just slide the glass right in. It's actually a pretty nice little case, pretty nice little pouch. Uh, I wouldn't know if I'd put it in a suitcase with that, but it's going to give you a bit better protection than what's out there now so far. So now it comes with this mono earbud. As you can see here, large, medium, small. I think it just fits every ear, uh, but it's designed specifically for glass. Tuck the loop inside your ear, as you can see here, and then adjust the cord to Oh, okay, you adjust the cord to your ear size, and you actually plug in the cord in that little micro USB port down below. I don't know how much I'm going to use these, I want you to set the volume to a safe level. I'm not really sure how often I'm going to use this earbud, but it's there if I choose to. And then last but not least, we have the AC adapter. Pretty low profile. Gives you the nice glass logo there. Just USB to your wall adapter. Pretty straightforward. Power cable. Very reminiscent of the Nexus Q with a flat cord, the way it's rolled up. Again, that's how you charge it at the angle right there. And then last but not least, I want to say these are the extra nose pads. Yep. So questions, they've got answers. And again, it gives you some answers here. Is glass indestructible? No. It is robust. It is stable, but it can break. Is it useful everywhere? Like a time and a place? It has a time and a place, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Gives you different use cases for it. Can everyone use glass? Use caution. Don't use it while you're using a jackhammer. Don't use it while you're scuba diving, all that basic stuff. 
So here we go. This is the cool thing. You are a pioneer, a founder, and an architect of what's possible. You are a glass explorer. We have an exciting journey ahead of us. And what happens next starts with you. So that's very cool. Nice little message there. And here are just some extra nose pads, different sizes to fit all size noses, help keep it from falling down. I'm going to try to use just the regular stock pads from the get-go. All right, so with all this away, the last piece, and again, this is also new to the 2.0. These are the active shades. You can see right here, shades active shaded. These are made by Maui Jim, one of the best glasses manufacturers out there, sunglass manufacturers out there. So they make these shades specifically for Google and Google Glass. Let's go ahead and Again, very simple. Now these, okay, good, they do have a pouch. That's what I was worried about. These do have a pouch, and actually, some instructions here on the inside. You do have to tear this, it looks like. So, same thing, welcome to glass. We're thrilled to have you here. And to thank you, they've included this special pair of shades. So, glass rocks the outdoors to help you make the most of it. Here we go, Maui Gym and Zeal Optics that is on this unique color enhancing impact resistant lens etc etc shows you how to pop in it actually slides in between the two nose pads pops right into place and then boom there you go sunglasses on the go and that's the reason I'm not going with the prescription version yet because these sunglasses are very easy to use as you can see glass and they just slide right out from the side here so they don't seem too big they don't seem too small either I'm not going to pop them into place yet, but they just basically slide right in between the frame here, and then there you go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this thing set up. I'm going to record pretty much daily thoughts, maybe every other day, um, of my thoughts with glass. You're going to see plenty of YouTube videos going up on my channel um, of just unique cases where, you know, glass while you're boating, glass while you're at the firing range, whatever it may be. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, that's jeff.tv. You can actually see it right down here. Uh, it's also Ultima119 on YouTube. But stay tuned for all those videos that are going to be popping up because there's going to be plenty of them. Uh, that was one of the things that Google wanted me to do as part of this is make plenty of videos, getting the word out there, educating people on it. So that's what you're going to see with this. I'm going to get these things tested out. I'm going to get them fully charged, and we'll go from there. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. So just a quick look. This is how it looks currently on me. I'll set up. Uh, the OK Glass commands aren't working correctly for me yet. Even when I tilt my head up, it doesn't do anything at this point in time, so i got to mess with that. Uh, but it's pretty comfortable, all things considered. All right, so I just got home from my day. I've been using glass for about 10 hours now, if I had to take a guess, rough guess. And uh, I actually had my first public experience, went into a Walmart just now to get some shipping supplies, and had uh, one person with his girlfriend uh, say a couple times to her, Hey, dude, brave, look at that. That's wicked sick about the glass. And then... I actually walked by them and he, he told her how badass it was, thinking I couldn't hear him. And uh, the woman actually, as I was ringing out at the self-checkout, came to ask me if I needed a bigger bag. When I said no, I kind of looked over at her and she realized what I was wearing. And then she asked how they were, how they were, you know, if they were cool, that kind of thing. So the public reactions, they're pretty funny. I actually wish I was recording because you guys could have seen that. So next time I go into a store, I'm going to record to see what people's reactions are. And that's going right up on YouTube. Why not? So stay tuned for more videos. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's Ultima119 or just www.jeff.tv. Stay tuned for more glass videos. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot of things with glass on my head. So you can see kind of my perspective, my point of view. Hopefully it's something new. Hopefully it's something neat. We'll see where it goes. Thanks very much for watching, everyone.